Ladies and gentlemen, the 2008 recipient is James Jones of Lilburn, Georgia. Congratulations, hey! James! Yeah, James. Wow, I mean, like three years later, <laughs> here we go. OSCSB, long way from being up under the bridge, long way from being out in the street, just doing my thing, learning what I can uh, with the continuing education here at the CSB School of Broadcasting. One of the places that we used to come to get high and drink, rest, or even eat the food that we may have gotten from varying agencies that fed throughout the metro Atlanta area. Across the way, on the other side, that side of the bridge is where I actually spent most of my time. I uh, slept under that bridge several times had plenty of different drinks under that bridge and in all actuality that was the very last place that I got high. This was the spot man. This is where I made that decision that my life had to change. This is exactly where I was when I made up my mind in December 2007. I won't drink no more, I won't gonna smoke no more, I wasn't gonna sniff anymore, I wasn't gonna abuse my body anymore. 99.9 WCSB home of the million dollars. It gave me something to push for, something to strive for. It showed me that I had skills, that I had something to contribute to the world, that I was a quote unquote somebody, that 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 all of the challenges, the hell raising, the stress, the pain that I went through, it was still worth it that I could come up and come out of that and really do something with my life. I mean, it's, it's mind boggling to try to put in words how that feels, to be given a chance to do things you've always wanted to do at a late stage in your life when you might have been written off as a has been as a failure, as a never could be. 99.9 NUBU Radio, I'm Jadwin James. Call number 100, you've got a $100 gift card, 770-935-5757. Give us a call right here. 99.9 NUBU Radio, streaming number one on the net. The purpose of this video is to, is to introduce myself, my talents, my story, and let people know that they too have a encouraging, inspirational story to share with others. No matter how isolated they feel that the events of their story is, there's someone that can benefit from it. This is my mother. I'm very, very fortunate to have a supportive, loving mother. I was inspired by the Ted Williams story to share my own story of hope, of inspiration, and of struggle, and of overcoming, you know, the triumph of it all. In closing, I want to directly thank the staff persons at CSB. I want to thank V103 for getting behind that scholarship and all their staff persons, Frank Ski, Wanda, Reggie Rouse, Janet Jack. And first and foremost, I thank again the Most High for providing me with gifts that I may be able to contribute to the industry and into other persons' lives. I'm extremely grateful. Listen, for those of you that are going through, for those of us that are waiting on His promise, understand God has not forgotten you. When times get tough, you've got to look up to heaven and encourage yourself and